Okay, all right. Uh, first of all, uh, great crowd. Uh, the weather was, was outstanding out there. Uh, a lot of fun to be on the field with our crowd. Loved our energy of our, of our team. Uh, the guys were playing hard, flying around. I uh, thought our defense was outstanding. Uh, I think one thing that really stands out is the depth, you know, and, and I think we've got more depth, which is great with that. Daniel Carlson, I mean, it was windy as all get out down there, and he's just drilling it. Uh, one of the best kickers in, um, you know, college football, and that'll be a big weapon for us uh, next year. Offensively, you know, we decided to, to rotate all three quarterbacks uh, with the ones and the twos equally. Uh, sometimes that's a challenge as far as different groups and all that, but we want to see them play, and uh, we want to see what they could do and how they handled different situations. We were pretty vanilla offensively. That was by design, but, uh, you know, overall, uh, you know, I think it really ended uh, – Ended up in spring, even though we got one more practice on, on, on Tuesday. It really ended spring on the on a on a high note. Uh, I don't think there was any major injuries, which is always a concern. And uh, you know, overall, it's been a very good spring. Question: Bears combined one of twenty-two on third down. Team with a vanilla offense, yeah. first team offense, one of ten on yeah. third down. How much of a concern is that? Yeah, you know, like I said, the, the challenge is when you rotate three quarterbacks with uh, different groups and you got different receivers and all that. That is a challenge. You got to give our defense credit on that, but uh, as far as concern, no, I'm not concerned at all. Um, you know, I thought the defense did an outstanding job and they made them earn it. Jeff, what's this play you called today? Uh, he had a little bit of a, uh, a finger issue um, and it was on Thursday and we just wanted to be safe. He's had an outstanding spring, but it's nothing major um, and he, he'll be fine. Chandler Cox extended role. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Chandler Cox and uh, Cameron Petway have both played, you know, half tailback, half H back, and uh, you can see both of them have a chance to help us. They run north south. Uh, you know, both of them are, are instinctive. They both played tailback, you know, in high school and used to carrying the ball. And I just think that'll give our offense more versatility next year. We we let uh, let those two guys carry it, you know, with Javon and then Rock. Uh, Thomas is a guy that's kind of uh, playing a little bit of receiver, a little slot, which you saw in that one touchdown, did a great job of that. And he's playing also playing some running back. So, you know, we're just really trying to develop some depth that that position. And those two big guys, you know, have a chance to help us in, in, in certain situations. Yeah, the two new quarterbacks, did you have any, can you feel for it after, after watching? Uh, say that again. The quarterbacks in general? Yeah, you, you know, I thought, uh, you know, there was a couple – Close plays, you know, the, the one at the very end was close. Uh, made a couple plays down the field, um, you know, um, but but I thought overall, you know, all three executed well at times. Kind of disappointment, Jeff, that not one of them separated themselves. And you know, if, you yeah, you know, if, if you think back at, at A Day, I mean, you think back at Cam Newton, you know, Cam Newton, because A Day and you're rotating guys and all that, and you think about stats. So, no, we really don't uh, go too much into that. Uh, you know, we have a really good. Uh, idea in spring, the whole body of, of spring evaluations. And like we've said before, we went live one day, which was great. John Franklin, a couple of young guys actually went live twice. And so it's good for us in those settings to evaluate. But, uh, you know, A-Day is uh, a chance to get out there, show what they can do, but but have fun with it. But no, to answer your question, I'm not, not concerned about nobody separating herself on a day like this. And it was, it was extremely windy, too. Say that again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What we'll do in, in all areas, offensively and defensively, and special teams, you know, we'll get uh, together as a coaching staff, and, and we'll get plans together, you know, as far as uh, how we'll move forward in the summer and uh, getting ready for fall. So your starting gunner will be will be with you in the playoffs. Yeah, he's he's on our team. He's competing for the starting quarterback job. Do you name a starting quarterback before fall? Hey, you, you know, I, I I'm not ready to say that yet. Uh, like I said, we'll, we'll end our last practice on Tuesday. Uh, originally, it was going to be on Monday. We did push it back to Tuesday because we could properly evaluate this film. Um, but, you know, all positions, you know, we'll, we'll talk as a staff and, and we'll decide. How do you like the pace of the offense? You know, at times I liked it. At times I liked it. Uh, obviously, you know, the early in the game, the defense was playing out saying there was a lot of three and outs. But once they, the, they got in the flow and they started playing fast and, uh, you know, it, it was a good tempo at times. Do you have an idea in your mind who's the head quarterback? Uh, n not at, not at this moment. I mean, um, you know, we'll like I said, we'll get done. Um, you know, I'll get with uh, Rhett and the offensive staff, and then we'll decide. But I will say this: we do have depth at, at that position, and that is a good thing. Ball security was a point of emphasis as well. Two red zone fumbles, one <coughs> lost. Yeah. Another time in the red zone, you 
to stall yourself with a lot of field goals. Yeah, you know, I think that's really the, the big negative for me, okay, was when, you know, our quarterbacks that have had the reps with the running backs and all that, we put the ball on the ground, I believe twice it was, um, you know, on the zone read. That was probably the biggest negative from an offensive standpoint uh, all day. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, he's he's had a very good spring. I mean, he's a he's a big athletic guy. Does you put more of an emphasis on spring, especially at the quarterback position, than just about any coach? What did John Franklin III get out of his 14 practices thus far? Well, I mean, uh, he's learned the offense, and uh, it's good for him. To, we're throwing a lot at him, and um, you know, he's he's uh, done a solid job. How did he kind of respond just being out there on the on the field for the first time in front of fans? You know, I mean, that, that's something for all the new guys, uh, not just him, but the new guys in our program. You know, some, some guys react uh, differently when they get in front of a crowd. And uh, But, you know, overall, like I said, I mean, I'm looking at the whole big picture here, you know, the defense and offense, making sure everybody plays and all that. But, you know, overall, there wasn't anything that kind of stuck in my mind that concerned me, you know, about him being out there put that way. Yeah, you know, I'm I'm real happy for Marcus. I mean, he's um, he's been very consistent in our program. He's been a guy that we can count on. He does a lot of dirty work that helps us be successful. And for him to be a senior now and to to make some some big plays in a day, you know, I thought that was really good. And, you know, he's a guy that our quarterbacks have a lot of confidence in, and our coaches have a lot of confidence in. Uh, I think he tweaked his ankle. Uh, you know, he did battle uh, an ankle injury last week, and I think he tweaked his other. But, uh, you know, he's had a solid spring, and, you know, it's been really good for him. You know, just uh, a guy that should still be in high school. He's out here getting 15 days of spring practice, and it's been very good for him. Coach, coach was just saying how the guys, or the young guys respond to playing out there in front of a crowd. You always want to hear about how they Yeah, I mean, just, just out there, the guys were having fun. They were flying around. And, uh, you know, that that's what you look for. And, you know, one thing I can say all spring is our guys have had great energy uh, in every practice. Uh, I think they want to be coached, and uh, they enjoy playing uh, together. And, th and that's really the big thing that's really stood out to me, uh, you know, from a big picture standpoint. How do you feel today compared to last year's A-Day when you walked off the field? Uh, you know, I mean, I feel, um, feel like our defense has a chance to be good. Uh, we have more depth, like I said before, but I don't feel bad, put it that way. I mean, A day is one of those deals from a head coach's standpoint. You want to let your players get out there and play and get everybody a chance to play, have fun, and, you know, you, you just make, you know, you pray that nobody gets injured. Seriously, nobody did. And so I think it's a good day, and really, I think it's comparable. Moving back, you had two drops, interceptions, and another one on that touchdown where they could have gone up and maybe gotten it. Do you take that as a positive that they were in position, or are there other things that you see there where maybe there needs to be some work? Yeah, I mean, it looked to me like one time the ball got knocked out of one of their hands, but he was in great position. Um, you know, the other one I think was a great adjustment by the by the receiver. Um, but our defense is defensive backs. We got some youth out back there, um, but they've really done a good job getting turnovers this year. And most of those young guys have pretty good ball skills, so um, you know, I think that's a good thing moving forward. Mm -hmm. Is it a lighter day, or do you think uh, you, you know, or? you know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get with the coordinators. We'll, uh, we'll, we'll see where we're at. You know, as far as that goes, uh, you know, ideally it's a teaching day. Um, it's the last day that you're able to coach your guys until fall. So you want to make sure they have that foundation. Uh, and really, you're, you're thinking depth. You know, usually your ones have a really good idea, but a lot of times those twos or threes have a chance to help you with depth wise. You want to focus on those guys uh, a little more on that last practice, but we'll we'll talk as, as uh, with the coordinators and we'll see what we need to do. Earlier today, uh, you freeze at Ole Miss said that he wishes that at the end of the spring that you could scrimmage against like an in-state team of some sort, a smaller program, just to mix it up a little bit. He said he brought up the spring meetings last year and he'll do it again this year. What are your thoughts on that? On potentially playing a, a different team? Yeah, you know, I really don't have thoughts. I mean, I kind of like the way we do it. You know, I. I think it's uh, it's been a tradition around here, and I think our fans enjoy it. Did you have a reaction to the elimination of satellite camps? Yeah, I mean uh, the SEC. You know, I'm I'm in line with that. Um, I think it's a good call.
teams go through a lot of positional changes. You know, you really look for some leaders on both sides of the ball to kind of keep the team together. Who are those leaders in your in your like mind as to they could be? Yeah, you know, I, I think it's really our older guys. Uh, you know, the Marcus Davises on offense, the Carl Lawsons, Montrevious Adams. It's, it's those guys, and they've been around a long time. And uh, those guys have been around when we won an SEC championship. They know what it feels like, what it looks like, what it takes. And uh, you know, those guys are really stepped up as leaders. And uh, you know, the young guys are really responding.